They took the jab, I parry it, and I walked. I started moving forward first. I lunged for his head, step into the knee to the body, straight in. And I grab this arm tight here. So here's section one. Me and Coach Eddie, we're going to be showing you some defense against the jab. The jab is the jab. It's the first thing a fighter uses. He gets in the ring, he throws his jab, get his timing, get his distance sorted out, and you can start your fight right there with that jab. So you've got to know. This next technique and most of these techniques where I'm going to show you how I do things, I kind of like to bait people and read their body movement. So if I want Eddie to throw that jab, I might move in a little bit and make him throw that jab and he comes in and I'm just popping in and it makes him throw it. So me moving forward, body language, I'll see his shoulder pull back and he'll start to throw it. So with this one, I'm trying to close in distance at the same time. Same time, and I'm setting up another technique actually, but I'll just deal with the jab first. So he throws the jab, I parry it, and I walked. I started moving forward first to tempt him to throw the jab, bring it down, grab his head with my left arm. If he threw his right cross right now, my head is covered. I'm behind him. So you don't just come in and then get caught with the right cross. Make sure your hands are up, you cover the jab, Cover your own face from coming in. You've got his head. Two reasons I've got his head. Stop the right cross from coming through to me. At the same time, I can pull into my knee. So those are the two. So the first way how this is starting, reading the body. I'm moving into it. And as I move in, he throws his jab. I launch for his head. Step into the knee to the body. Straight in. And controlling his arm. Now the second technique I was talking about, as I hold this here, I've got an elbow right down the middle. Remember, keep this down. A lot of people will block this and then forget about that elbow and not controlling this arm. Always keep control over this arm. There's a lot of other techniques I, I'll do for me. I'll do this one. I'll step here and bring it back that way. That's the next one I was just telling you about just now. So just look at the other side. Throwing, I do the movement first to entice him to throw the jab. As he does that, I walk into it. Bring it down, my chin's tucked in, around my shoulder, I'm controlling his arm, you see I've got it. I step, long knee to the body, and then boom. That's the second one with an elbow. Like I said before, if I hit here, and I decide I want to change that, I step, and I grab this arm tight here, and bring it into an elbow from the back. These are more advanced techniques, but just putting it in there to show you. Same thing again, I move in, he throws a jab, Parry it away, grab the head, arms out to the side, we can see from this angle, hit the body, follow the arm angle, right into the face. Same again, to the other side, put the jab, move my head out of the way, bring it, step through my right leg, left knee to the body, and then straight into the face with that elbow. And like I said before, with the other elbow, if I want to step over, I trap this arm. You see how it's pulling him as I do it? And that's the same, and bring it back to the face. 